All right, well, Serial Killers, um, you actually can watch it now. You can buy it online. Why is the premiere so late? Well, we... <laughs> Well, it's the first time we've all been in the one city for a start. Okay. Because, uh, you know, Tim and Tim's obviously here, and uh, and Donald is uh, out and about, and and uh, and the rest of the cricketers are, are here. So yeah. we thought this was the perfect chance, even though it's been out online for uh, for a couple of months now. We had a, a premiere in Melbourne um, a couple of months ago during the cricket season, and Donald came out, and uh, Tim couldn't come unfortunately. But so this is the first time we'll uh, we'll all be there. But it's available uh, online. It's a different way of distributing uh, a movie. Um, you can go to www.serialkillersmovie.com uh, and uh, you can either rent it or buy it uh, online. Okay, and what kind of reception do you guys get um, at the premiere? So you said you had one in Melbourne. What was the audience reaction like? Oh, it was very positive, wasn't it? I mean, I it was, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. It's, like I know, if, even from my perspective, my family have embraced it. My mum and dad especially have. Well, my dad's got type 2 diabetes, so he's embraced the, um, the diet now as well. And it's... It really is a, a great way to be able to actually um, see the information of what a, um, a high fat, low carb diet does and can do and how it affects your, your um, health either way, um, for the good and for the, um, and for the worse. So it's a really great way to be able to see it. Donald's a, is a brilliant man to be able to see what he's been able to do to put it all, to, put it all together and see his journey um, of finding out. It's just a, it's a, it's a fun way to be able to see it instead of having to sort of sift through some of the literature that's, yeah, that's yeah. out there. It's, there's a lot out there, so um, it's just a fun way to be able to do it. So um, my mum and dad have, have seen it and they certainly really enjoyed it and, and um, entertaining part of actually the learning something about um, challenging the beliefs that have been around um, for you know, 30, 30 or 40 years. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to being able to see it again. Great. Okay, and just one last question for both of you. Do you think people should um, cut back on their carbs or, or eliminate them completely? Well, it depends. I mean, if they want to lose weight, yeah. I think, you know, they should, the more they reduce their carbs, uh, the better. If they just want to maintain their weight, um, yeah, just, I mean, you know, carbs are not terrible for you, but mm -hmm. too many carbs and certainly sugary carbs are, uh, are the worst. So the majority of us eat far too many carbs and far too much sugar-based carbs, you know, and the uh, Things like you know soft drinks and, uh, and flavored uh, yeah. uh, flavored drinks and uh, even fruit juices and so on are full of uh, are full of sugar, and uh, I think it's generally becoming more and more accepted now uh, that you know if nothing else we're eating far too much sugar, and uh, but from a weight loss point of view it's very effective. I can you know, I'm living proof. Yeah.